Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to King FX, FX, uh, King FX Trading Mastery. If this is your first time, you will be stumbling on our channel. Please make sure you click the subscribe button and click the bell button for notifications so you don't get to miss any of our videos. All right. Okay. So I'm feel free to. To explore our channel there are a lot of free uh, videos for you to to learn from all right so let's get let's get started so this is our weekly analysis last week uh the week at the analysis we did during the week from uh from 25th to 29 majority of the of the analysis played out as expected. If you have been if you have been following the analysis, you will surely testify to uh, what I'm sharing with you. And our midweek analysis, few of it played out. Uh, about 40 to 45 to 50 percent of the trade played out, and about 30 percent of them changed direction, which means we did not have trade in those that that change uh, direction. So uh, it was a good one. Most of the euro pairs change direction from bearish to bullish. So we did not have a lot of trade with the euro pairs during the, during the week in the last few days. All right, so let's get started in today's, today's uh, analysis. All right, so let's start from AUD Swiss franc. So as you can see, AUD is returning from a major resistance, okay? AUD is coming from a major resistance, which means it's ready to go down a little bit more, okay? So on AUD, AUD Swiss franc, we may expect the pair to drop back to this level again, to come back to this level, okay? So and after that, after the level is broken, this is the next target. Once this uh, level is broken, this is the next target. So on AUD Swiss franc, let's look for a sell. Okay, all right. The pair, the cross has already happened, but it looks like see, this is going to go back a little, it's going to go up a little bit more. All right. And you're going to see this coming to the downside again. So catch your move, your sell entry on its way down. So AUD JPY, this pair is uh, is also going to go down, but there is no clear signal right there. Okay, so we are not trading that. So the next one is AUD USD. Okay, AUD USD. For AUD USD, you want to look for sell the same thing as AUD Swiss franc. So this is expected to go up a little bit more. Okay. Then on its way down, catch your entry and take your first profit around here, your first profit around here. But this pair is expected to drop down uh, to this level. Okay, see expected to drop down to this level. So you see us, uh, AUD USD, see have a long way to the downside. So you want to look for sell on AUD USD. Look for sale on AUD USD. The next one is AUD CAD. This is a very strong uh, bearish candle, which is a very a clear signal that this pair is going to drop further more, all right, to this downside. But that is still a very long way to go, okay? So you want to look out for sale on AUD on AUD card, you want to look for sell, look out for sell. Okay, so your target is going to be uh, 0 0.9734. So the next target on AUD, AUD card is going to be 0 0.9734. So you want to wait for a proper pullback. This is expected to pull back, back to the trend line. Sorry, back to the uh, 120 moving average, the red line. So it's expected to pull back up here, then catch your good sell entry to the downside, okay? And your first take profit 
will be around the last low or at 0 0.9734. So look for sale on AUD card. AUD card, look for sale. AUD NZD. This is, this is still expected to come down some more. Okay, still expected to come down to this level. And this, on this uh, level get broken, and we hope this should get broken uh, within this, uh, as soon as market opens. So let's see what happens during the week. So you want to be careful with the pair. So generally, this is a good pair to sell. So let's wait. Let's wait for this to pull back to the 120 moving average, then cash, cash your sell entry to the downside and take your first profit at before 106, before 1 1.0630. Once this pull back up to the 120 moving average, cash your sell entry and take your profit before 1.0630, all right? And if this level get broken, this is where we are heading to. So you want to look for sell on AUD NZD. AUD NZD look for sell. Card JPY. Card JPY. This is still expected to push up some more. Card JPY is expected to push up, pull, uh, pull up some more, but we may see some kind of pullback. We may see some kind of pullback first before uh a move up to the to the upside so look for a proper pullback on card jpy then catch your buy entry to the upside and take your first profit before take your first profit before 82.13 take your first profit before 82.13 card jpy look for buy zero aud zero aud this uh, it still has a long way to go to the upside, okay? So you, you want to look for a buy entry on Euro AUD. Look for buy entry on Euro AUD. Wait for the pullback to happen. Then catch your buy entry. So you, we want to catch your buy entry and take your first profit around here. Take your first profit before 1.5942, okay? And your next profit can be as high as 1.5982. All right, look for buy on Euro AUD. Look for buy on Euro AUD. AUD card. Sorry, Euro card. Euro card. Okay, this pair is still uh, still ranging. There is no clear signal right there, so you want to be careful. But once you see a clear cross to the upside, it may be good for a buy and take your profit before 1.5580. All right. So once you see the cross to the upside, take a buy and take your profit before 1.5580. Okay. The the pair is still deciding the direction to take. So look for buy, temporary buy on Euro card, Euro JPY. Okay, this is uh, returning from a major, major supply zone. Okay, so and it's still expected to push up some more. Otherwise, we may see a significant drop. All right. It has is currently at a major zone. So wait for a pullback. When you see the uh wait for a pullback, then catch your buy entry to the upside. But be careful on this pair. You must take your profit before 127.26. Take your profit before this uh, resistance if the cross happens and returning back to the upside. Okay, because this pair is still expected to drop down to somewhere here if possible. All right, so look for a temporary buy on Eurocard and Euro JPY. 
look for a temporary buy on euro card and euro jpy euro swiss franc okay this pair is expected to uh, push up see expected to push up very well so euro swiss franc look for a buy wait for a good pullback wait for a pull a good pullback then write uh, the trade to the upside. So look for a buy on Euro Swiss franc. Look for a buy on Euro Swiss franc. Euro GBP. Yes, GBP is still expected to uh, drop a little bit more during this coming week before we can see that final, uh, final weakness of the pair. But right now, we may see this uh, to come down a little bit. But I see Euro uh, going strong this coming week. But we are going to see what is going to happen during the week. So you may you may want to take a, a sell on this pair. Take a sell on this pair. Okay, take a sell on this pair according to our signal. Take a sell on this pair and take your prof your first profit. At this level, take your first profit at 0 0.8826. So uh GBP is still expected to to strong a little bit small before we can see it drop. Okay, so GBP is still going to drop before the end of this week if markets moves faster. All right, so this is not it's, it's not an advice, it's just an analysis, it is not an investment advice is just an analysis so look for a sell on euro gbp and take your first profit at 0 0.8826 and if that level get broken this is where we are we are going to we are going to 0 0.8726 if if 0 0.8826 get broken the price is still going to drop some more the pair will drop some more to 0 0.8726 so look for buy, look for sell entry on euro gbp look for sell entry on euro gbp gj gbp jpy this is still going to go up a little bit more okay so wait for the cross to happen wait for the cross to happen to the upside then take your buy entry Take your buy entry and take your profit before 144.62. Uh, take a buy entry on the uh, G card and take your profit before 144.62. G card, look for buy. G card, look for buy. So on GJ, you want to look for buy, guys. Sorry for the misappropriation. GJ, GBP, JPY, look for buy. So on GA, the next one we're going to look at is GBP, AUD. Okay, as we can see, AUD is currently weak. So I'm expecting this pair to come up to 1.8040, GBP, AUD. It's expected to come up to 140, 80, 40. So right now, wait for the pullback and catch a good move to the upside. Look for buy on GA, GBP, AUD, look for buy. The next one is GBP, six franc. GBP, six franc. So this is this is uh, also expected to push up a little bit more to, to 1.2252. So look for buy entry on gvp swiss franc so wait let it drop then catch your entry to the upside catch your entry to the upside look for buy on g chef g card this is also a, a pair you have to look out for buy as well okay but this is also returning from a major resistance area 
okay so you want to be careful with your buy entry but this is still good for a buy when you see the pullback okay take your buy entry and make sure you take your first you take your profit before uh take your profit before 60 1.60 1.7635 Take your profit before 1.7635. Look for buy on GCash. Okay, look for buy. So this is going to be a temporary buy as this pair is expected to drop. Okay, it's coming from a major resistance area, as you can see. Okay, and if that should get broken, it's still, it's still going to shoot up some more to this level. So that's going to be a long way. All right, so look for buy. On G card, look for buy on G card. NZDJPY. Okay, so you want to wait for this to pull back. NZDJPY, wait for this to pull back. So it's going to pull back to the 120 moving average. So this is expected to pull back to the 120 moving average. So on its way up, ensure. You take you catch the move, all right. Catch the move to the upside. Catch the move to the upside. Look for a buy and take your first profit before 75.58. All right. And your next profit at 76.25. As this uh this pair is expected to push up some more. So look for buy on nj nj look for buy n card nzd card nzd card okay so guys this is this is going to be a good one for us to buy a little bit so let's wait once you see the pullback to the upside take your profit uh Enter the buy entry and take your profit before 0 0.9213. Okay, so that's going to be your first profit. And your next profit is going to be 0 0.9250. All right, so look for buy entry on NZD card. Look for buy entry on NZD card. USD JPY. So this is still shooting up to the, to the upside. So it's expected to come to 105.44. USDJPY is expected to rise to 105.44. So you want to look for a buy entry around here. So let's wait for proper pullback. Let it come back between Monday and early Tuesday. This should happen. Okay. So look for buy entry and uh, take your profit before this i take your profit before this i and your next profit will be 1.105.44 so look for buy on usd jpy usd swiss franc okay the pair is currently ranging usd swiss franc is currently ranging but it's expected to shoot up and get this area broken this coming week so you want to look for buy on usd swiss franc okay as this this level is expected to get broken based on this chart pattern formation so this level is expected to broke to get broken and the pra, the ma the pair we shoot up to 0 0.9034 so just a long way to the upside so don't miss that opportunity on u share to so, uh, take a proper entry, let the pair pull back, all right? Then catch your move to the upside and take your buy entry, all right? You may want to take your first profit before 0 0.8920. Take your first profit before this level, all right? And ride it up to the upside. So you card. The last pair on the list. So you card. Uh, this is still expected to come up a little bit more before we see that drop. 
she expected to come up a little bit. So let's see what price does. If this is going to follow our analysis, so you want to look for a, a buy, okay? Then take your profit before this level. Take your profit before 1.26, uh, 1.2867. Look for buy entry on USD card. So generally, guys, that is what I have for you today. So we have a lot of peers that are setting up, guys. Okay, during this past week, most of uh few of the GBP peers uh played out as expected. So this week we have a lot of them setting up AUD Swiss franc. You want to look for sell AUD USD sell AUD card sell AUD NZD sell card JPY look for buy Euro AUD look for buy Euro card buy Euro JPY buy Euro Swiss franc buy Euro J, uh, Euro GBP look for sell GBP JPY look for buy GBP AUD look for buy GBP Swiss franc look for buy GBP card buy NZD JPY buy NZD card buy USD JPY look for buy USD Swiss franc buy USD card buy so guys this is all i have for you today and uh according to my analysis our hot uh focus for this week as usual as you know that i normally give you uh the pairs you need to focus on so you want to focus more on aud pairs aud is currently weak across board so take advantage on on aud sell anything against aud okay aud is weak so you want to buy against aud you want to sell against aud all right so make sure you take good advantage of AUDs and euro euro is as well a good euro pair is as uh is also a good one to look out for euro pair is also a good one to look out for so guys this is all i have for you today tomorrow which is this coming sunday sunday 31st Sunday 31st, uh, Sunday January 31st, by 5 p.m. Nigerian time, 4 p.m. Ghana time, uh, which is 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 16 hour GMT. Guys, we want to hook up for our training session tomorrow. We are having a major, major, major upgrade on this very strategy that I just analyzed with you guys, which is called the King Strategy. So you want to uh, plug in, okay? Uh, we have worked a lot on the strategy, adding a good another indicator to it so that you can catch a good move. You can catch more entries with this strategy. So it's becoming more awesome and interesting by the day, guys. So make sure you you plug in tomorrow. Let us work through this strategy together again okay so i'm going to be implementing the new indicator and the upgrade as well so you don't get to miss a lot of opportunity with this strategy and aside that i have a very very big opportunity uh a good uh, offer to give to you guys based on this strategy so that you don't miss anything okay this strategy has been delivering and it will continue to deliver and that is the reason why we have upgraded the strategy and we have back tested it we have been testing it since early december and it has given a good result so i think it is ready to make it known for your own benefit guys so make sure you plug in to uh to our live trading tomorrow and the benefit may be available to those who present in the training session all right so guys, take advantage of this and this is all I have for you today. See you tomorrow and God bless. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, make sure you subscribe, click the bell button and stay tuned. And remember to you can join our Telegram channel where we have a lot of discussion as well. So see more of you tomorrow and see more of you on the group. Bye bye for now.